Welcome back to the studio. Today I had so much fun painting with music. So I am going to carry on doing that. I'm also going to combine a comment that was made of uh, when I painted those Patreon paintings for this month. You know, when I kind of channeled all my energy and my anger and frustration into a painting and they said, do it bigger, it will look great. So we're going to try that. I have my music ready, I have my trusted buyer ready, and we're going to do it. I think this is going to be a version of the blue and purple one rather than the red one because, I don't know, I just feel like that's a better painting to hang on a wall rather than the bright red one, like in terms of what I would choose to have on my wall personally. So we're going to go with that one. I've already marked a square of 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And this is on a bocking for 300 GSM today because I've only got one layer of paint to go on. I thought 300 GSM will be fine. We'll see how it goes. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a big metal head. I've always been a metal head since I was about 14, I think. So that's quite a few years of being a metal head. And the music I tend to paint along to the most is either a metal playlist or a pop playlist. I have a separate pop happy painting playlist as well but today I am going to use the one that's on Spotify already called New Metal Generation because it has a lot of songs that I really like. with the burrow bit I've also wrecked this burrow now as well so that's two burrows I've wrecked fortunately this one's refillable so it's not a problem this one it's just dead now <laughs> I don't know if it's run out or if I've done the same thing I think it's okay but I'm happy with this so I'm gonna move on to the painting I tell you what drawing this doing this many lines it's really good exercise for your arms so if you ever want to turn up your upper arms ladies uh, let's do this i'm gonna use the escudo to three quarter inch that i used in yesterday's video that ev sent me very very kindly i've got some clear water my palette and we're gonna go for the capsule violet by dennis smith and then the ultra no in down throw Bloom, I think. I'm really happy with this now. What I did was I put lots of layers down and I really like the textures that it added. I like the cross lines and all the patches of where it dried in areas, but it was a little bit too much. I couldn't see the lines and I wanted the lines to be more present. So I just wet the whole painting and dabbed it with kitchen towel twice and that's a great thing about using highly stained paints such as carbs or violet and indanthrone because you still have the texture they don't go away but you just get to lift the color up a little bit so that there's a better balance between the lines and the colors so it's all completely bumpy at the moment because i've been doing lots of layers and then using heat tool and then more layers than heat tool but don't worry I never worry about 
crumply paper because you can always flatten them by misting it very lightly on the back of the painting and then just sandwiching them on in between some big sheets of wood or something flat or glass if you have one that a glass that's this big um, so I'm not bothered about that I can do that if I decide to actually make this into a framed piece of painting really really glad I did this I also really enjoyed creating to my favorite music I don't know why I stopped doing that I used to with my acrylic painting whereas with the watercolor I was more like oh everything has to be precise so I have to focus so I can't listen to really loud music especially you know when you're a fan of heavy metal it's it's the opposite of staying calm and concentrated and focused on something but I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed taking the energy of the music into paintings and it helped me do a lot of things that I normally wouldn't do such as making all this cauliflowering as a feature of a piece actually going over the same painting over and over with different layers different textures that I would never had the balls to do on my own and then to decide to just wipe the whole thing down when I didn't really know if it was going to turn out okay that I get to keep the texture but I did it anyway because I was in that kind of bold music so I'm really really happy that I experimented with painting while listening to some good music. I hope this video has inspired you to do some painting along with your favourite music. Do let me know in the comments down below what are your favourite musics to paint to. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this piece. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye!